Guys, it is time for me to tell you about my experience with turbulence in USA. God, seven is love. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. This is Ashley and you guys are watching Ashley D Reactions and today I'm going to be talking about GOT7's Turbulence in USA fan meet tour. And you might be wondering, why is she talking about all of Turbulence in USA? Didn't they go to like five cities? Yeah, they did. And my crazy ass went to four of them. So yeah, so I definitely have more than one show to talk about and I figured rather than splitting them out into individual videos, I would just pile them all together and kind of combine it with some of my vlog, vlog footage. So if this is chopped together really weird and awkward, now you know. So I should just be, I have like an hour. I don't know what time it is right now. I think like an hour and 20 minutes or so until I start boarding. But I'm all hyped. I think I've listened to Turbulence through like three times now at this point. Um, but it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Um, I'm just kind of bored now. But <laughs> got seven tonight. It's coming. It's coming. I already have my. I have my packing tube so that way when I get my sign poster, because I did get the sign poster. Even though I didn't get P1 or P2 like I wanted, I did get P3 and I was one of the first 100 for Miami. So I get the sign got seven poster. So that's better than nothing. And then there's still always the chance of going up on stage with them. So fingers crossed. But I'm not sure how I'm going to edit this. I might do weekend one. So Miami and DC is for, might go up like probably like literally right before Houston and LA next weekend. Um, but I'm really excited. Yeah. Um, um, I don't even know. Um, my flight was delayed though, <laughs> coming in to, because I'm in Houston waiting for my other flight to Miami. And it was delayed, which was kind of sucky because it was like for like, 45 minutes or so, um, but we eventually took off. It was super foggy, so like I mentioned before, like it was super foggy, like, because when I was driving in Austin, I don't know if you guys know what driving in Austin is like, but like the roads are lofted, um, so pretty much if you're on a main road, it's like higher than all the other roads, and so pretty much going through that, um, I could only see like maybe like 20 feet in front of me, 30 at most, like the entire time, even with my brights on. So I was like, yeah. And since it is lofted, it felt like you were going through clouds. Cause like, you know when you fly in an airplane and you kind of see like the clouds, like the, the wisps. Like, it looked like that when I was driving. So yeah, it was really foggy and that delayed the flight. But now I'm in Houston. I have, like I said, about an hour before kick off and then I'll get into Miami and hopefully I'll remember to check in with you guys hopefully I'm gonna stop and get a Cubano hopefully if I have enough time before the before I go to the fan meet since I have a seat anyway so there's no point that I have to I don't really need to line up super early so but yeah I'm gonna go back to actually charging my phone I am in Miami yay so I have a little bit of time um, I got in a little bit early which is awesome um, I'm gonna go hopefully rent this car we'll see um, but yes I am I'm so ready for this Cut seven. okay so the very first stop of the tour happened in Miami yes so I am I've never been to Miami before. I've been to Florida, but I've never been to Miami. And I was really excited because, guys, it's Miami. It was warm. It's the middle of winter. And I'm getting to fly into Miami and embrace this 80 degree weather that I flew into. And it was beautiful. And I'll show you. I took some pictures. It was just lovely out and fantastic. Um, but I flew in Saturday, day of the fan meet. And I went straight to the venue pretty much because it was, I went straight to the venue. I didn't get in until like two, finally get in car. I didn't get to the venue until like four. The show started at seven. I still had time to chill. I still had time to chill. Okay, so 
I'm walking to the venue. I have no idea what's going on at this place over here, but like the trees are pretty, but yeah. So walking to the venue right now, it's like two hours early, but I'm cool. It's right in front of me. Got seven. I'm so ready. I'm so ready, but I didn't eat. That's a problem. But oh well, I guess I'll, I'll probably just eat after, maybe. We'll see. But I wasn't really pressed because while the venue was partially, partially general admission, I only had P3 seats. And I didn't bother buying up the tickets. I did end up being one of the first 100 people buying P3. So I did get a signed poster, which I will have laminated and hung up. And y'all will see that eventually, but not in this vlog because it's not going. But, so I had P3, so I was further away, which was really unfortunate, but I did get a wonderful view of everything, and the show was awesome. Okay, we're in the theater right now. I'm so excited. It's gonna start soon. We're about a half an hour away, I think, a little under that. Okay. It's begun. It's begun. Miami. This theater is nice and warm, but it's so far away. Let me just show you. So, I'm excited. I am in the orchestra, and there's a pit section in front, as you saw. And, yes, I'm so ready. I'm so ready for this. Mm, got seven. Like, just, I mean, I had seen them two months before in Toronto, but it's just, there's something about God seven that just draws you in. It was the first show. They were real hype. Everything was just really, really it was a lot of fun. The guys were super into it. Their energy was high despite being, no, mad, no doubt being exhausted because they had just like flown in just the day before and they had just had a schedule right before that. So they were busy, busy, busy boys. And, but it was just, it was still an amazing show. They were so hyped and so excited. Um, in the middle of Just Right, music cut. And it was like, what? What is going on right now? And ah, so I wish I had gotten the whole thing because I was just, I was so into it that I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna record just right. And I ended up stop. I stopped recording. I think it was just before. <laughs> show is great and so I did make a wang sign that I will show you guys as well um, it was for Jackson obviously um, and at one point I think he spotted it but I doubt it I think he might have just been looking in that general area but um, I was continually moving further out into the aisle because I did have the aisle seat in the like directly in front of Jackson but he's blind so I seriously doubt that he saw it because I was decently far back but um yeah, it was, it was a great show and I really ended up enjoying myself a lot. Um, so after the show and I got my poster, I ended up like waiting and just kind of hanging out um, on the side as people were doing their photo op and high touch. Um, obviously we had to leave, only um, P1 and P2 got to stay in there. Um, but, so I was outside, this 
waiting and obviously I was waiting to see the boys to say goodbye, um, but I was not also running, which a lot of people were doing. Um, so I, instead I just kind of went outside and I saw where everybody was standing, where, they, where their room was up there. And they were coming to the window though, and at one point they were recording everybody, which was kind of funny, um, but very expected of them. Um, but yeah, so I held up my wedding sign, and yeah, I just, I love the guys so much. Um, so yeah, I did wait until to see them leave. Um, and then I saw them kind of leave in the distance, but I wasn't running, so I was just like, whatever, I missed it that time. But it happens. Um, but so after the show, I was just kind of hanging out walking around Miami Beach at night. Um, I ended up going and going to this Cubano place. I got a Cubano. I tried to mail my poster home. It didn't work. But I pretty much went right to the airport, Fort Lauderdale Airport, because my flight was cheaper. Because, y'all, I was flying out to DC because the DC show was the very next day. So um, by the time I get into DC after waiting in the airport where people were sleeping and just a long, 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 Next time y'all, I need to get a hotel, even if I have to spend a million dollars, which really sucks because I go to these things by myself usually. So it costs like a million bucks because I don't share it with anybody. So it's just super expensive. But y'all, I, I need a hotel next time. I need a hotel. Um, but so I get to DC and my best friend lives in DC. So she picked me up from the airport. Um, we went to brunch and then my butt was in line, which was not very long, but I was P2 this time. High touch, y'all. So I waited for like six hours. I waited from noon. Um, and pretty much I just stood there in the rain because it was raining and it was cold. And I stood there the whole time because there was no place to sit because it was raining so you couldn't sit down. And it was also gross and there was a strip club right next door. And I was just... DC was a trip, y'all. It was a trip. <laughs> but... It was awesome once we got inside. So there were barricades that were barricading everything off. Um, so P1 was separated from P2, but I was right near the front. I was in the second row of P2, kind of like almost wedged into the first row. Um, and so I had my long sign and I was just chilling. I was vibing. It was just, it was awesome. The show was not quite as lit as it was in Miami, but it was still just, yes, they were, there was still, they were still riding that high. And it was really awesome. And I was just vibing out and dancing to get my groove on. And this time I know Jackson saw my sign. Because he I got a finger heart that time. So I was happy. And yeah, but the thing is, I had high touch that time. High touch, y'all. Okay, so I have the list here of the high touch order because yes, it, there was so much going on. I took notes after each show. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. I wanted to keep it straight for you guys. So the high touch order was Jin Young, Young Jae, Jae Bum, Yoo Gyum, Mark, Jackson, and then Ben Ben. So I go through the line and this, when I was in DC, I was just like, I am half prepped. I'm half ready. Um, I was like, okay, I have things that are prepared for these guys. By the later shows, I was just like, no, I'm just doing my thing. But the first show, I was just like, I'm ready. So I got to Jin Young, and I told him that I was looking forward to his movie because, yes, and he is so gorgeous. Y'all, though, Jin Young has a big head. Like, it's perfectly proportional to him, but every time I see him, I'm just like, yo, Jin Young's head is like, it's large. It's large. It's wonderful and beautiful, but it's large. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so after that was Young Jay, and I told him that he was an amazing unmasked singer because ah, Young Jay. Um, but yeah, I never get any response from Jin Young or Young Jay ever, ever. I am accept. I am. I have accepted this. The Jin Young and Young Jay care cared nothing about me. It's fine. It is fine. You will see that as this goes on. It's fine. I'm okay. <laughs> Okay, so next I get to J-Bum. Okay, and here's where the problem comes. So I get to J-Bum and he just looks so fluffy that I literally just pause. Like, cause he's like, he's all fluffy and he's smiling and he looks so cute. And I literally freeze. I can't say anything. I don't move. I just 
lock up and I'm just like, I have no idea what's going on. And the people behind me were like, you need to go. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, um, I love your mixtape. And then he just smiled, smiled real big. And you, know, you know that J Bone smile. I, mm, mm -hmm. Okay, so I was still in such a daze from, <laughs> I'm still in such a daze from J Bone that by the time I get to Yu Gi Oh, who's next in line, I get to Yu Gi Oh and I just look at him and I'm just like, like literally the noise that came out of me like it was just it was it was not coherent it was not a real noise it was it was something that was audible and weird and you can just like smiles and I'm just like oh my god I'm so glad that he's not laughing at me although he was probably laughing at me um, but yeah it was it wasn't it wasn't even a real noise it was oh I'm a mess um, so then right after that was Jackson and Jackson, I was just like, okay, I kind of got it together because I'm just like, I need to say something to my boo. So I get to Jackson, I'm just like, I love you, remember me. Okay. And I'm just like, remember me, remember me. And he just kind of was just like, mm. like he didn't, he didn't say anything, not much, just, just, just a moderate smile. Just, okay. Oh, I'm just like, okay, okay, Jackson, I see you. I see you. I'm going to take you to task on this. <laughs> but then, so um, after that was Mark, and Mark, I think, hates me. So, yeah, so it's Jin Young, Young Jay, and Mark. And I'm just like, I feel like every time I encounter them, they're just like, what the, what the hell is this girl doing here? <laughs> but um, so, Mark, I, I just did my, did my thing with Mark and kept it moving because I love him, but I swear it hurts my heart every time he stares at me, and it's just like, huh? And I'm just like, okay, Mark, please, please. I understand that I'm a fool, but I don't want to feel like a fool. <laughs> okay, and then, so after that was Bam. And y'all, okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, but as this tour progressed, I slowly, slowly, slowly realized that I am a disgusting Bam stan, and that I think Bam is actually my bias and not, um, and not Jackson. Um, I know, that's painful. It's painful, but seriously. Um, yeah, I should have realized it because Bam was originally my bias when I first watched my first God 7 video. I was just like, yeah, who's that one? And Bam. And the only reason why I backed up Bam was because he's so young. And then I saw him at Fly in Dallas and I was just like, oh, Bam, you held my hand and you were so sweet. And I just, did. and then I saw him in Toronto and I, I made him laugh and he was all smiley. And I was just like, oh my gosh. Bam. Bam. So like Bam's been like wheezing his way in my heart and so I get to Bam and I'm just like oh, you're my prince and he was like oh thank you and like so much to the extent that like I was walking away and he was still talking to me even though the other person was coming up and I was just like yes Bam I love you. Um, okay so that was my high touch experience. I did not wait around to see them leave that time. Um, because my friend was coming to pick me up. I was chilling in DC. I went to get duck the next day. First time I ever had duck. Duck is really good. It is really good. But, um, yeah, I was really excited at DC. But DC was then over. I flew out. I went back to work. <sighs> like, literally, I flew in and immediately went to work that day. Um, it was on Tuesday because I was on Monday. Um, but, yeah. It was, it was kind of a trip and Wednesday came around, so this was me during Chicago, flying Chicago. <laughs> Seriously, like I was just, I was such a mess during um, flying Chicago because I, I watched it, um, came in clutch. One of the girls that I know, she actually went to Chicago and she did a Periscope, so I was watching that Periscope. I was listening to the Mixler and I was just like, yes, living life, I'm not there, but. <sighs> I at least get to experience it like adjacently so that was Chicago for me but next big deal no. Friday Friday is Houston Houston is GA as well at least partially I was PT so that means that I was GA and my butt was, going, was making sure that I got there one time because I wanted to be up in front Look at me, I'm actually vlogging. I actually legitimately only almost forgot. I'm going to pick up my friend from the airport. So I'm actually heading back. Ugh. I've been here for like, what, nine hours already? I've been here since before 4.30. And yeah, it's currently after one now. So 
yeah, I've been here for a while and I'm really excited. Oh, hanging out with friends and meeting new people is always wonderful and lovely. Um, but yeah, hopefully I will vlog when I get back in line, but um, let's just say there are no guarantees, but I'll try. I'll definitely film stuff during the fan meet and again, I'm very happy because again, people somehow can't seem to guess my age properly, which makes me feel good. But yeah, I'll be back later, maybe. Okay, so I'm walking in pretty much the same place. It's now many hours later, but I swear I'm such a fake, like, you see this? Do you see this? I bought Bam Bam stuff. And there's another one behind it. And you might see J-Bum behind it, but that's actually a friend's. But, oh, what is this? Why am I getting so much Bam stuff? I'm such a fake. I swear, I swear, I swear. Jackson is my bias. It's just J-Bum and Bam just, they mess me up. They, they mess me up. Have you seen them? But yeah, I'm gonna go drop this stuff in the car so that we don't have to carry it during the fan meet since it is, we're in GA and I'm about to go then head back. So yeah. They did have barricades in Houston, which originally they weren't going to, but they did, which is fine because I was still pressed up against the front of the barricade. Yes, thank y'all, yes. So I was right up front of P2, which was very exciting. Um, and it was a great show again. It was kind of wild. It took like an hour for it to really get going um, because of the security. Security was crazy intense. Um, but yeah, um, ooh, I'm totally missing stuff. So I got there at four in the morning. I handed out cookies to a whole bunch of people. I was chilling, I was talking to friends because since I'm from Austin, um, there were a lot more people that I knew from Texas. So there were, I actually had some friends that actually were going to the show. So that was awesome. So I was hanging out with them in the line and it was just awesome. Also, my friend Yuki, she was playing in LA for this as well. So I, Houston, I was way more social. I was talking to a lot more people and I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed meeting everybody. I really enjoy it a lot. Like y'all don't even know. Like I am such a shy person but I really talk a lot. You guys probably can tell that I talk a lot because of these videos that I do, but in person I can be kind of shy unless people like either make me feel comfortable or just let me just open up. But usually, um, yeah, I don't mind talking and I get really kind of social. I was very happy to meet so many people and I hope that more of them I can be friends with and yeah, I love and the like I say, it's wonderful. Um, but yeah, so it was wonderful. Waited in line for forever. It was freezing, because y'all don't know, Texas gets cold. People, I hope you guys understand that didn't think that it got cold in Texas, but yeah, it gets cold in Texas. Um, it doesn't stay cold for very long, but it gets cold, and it was cold. <laughs> um, so yeah, but we finally got in about an hour late after security, because it was like, two metal detectors, everybody was one by one. There was a whole bunch of scamming that was going on. People got scammed, which really, really sucks. Um, but yeah, there was a lot going on. And eventually we all got in and we went through the show. It was, it, the show felt a little bit more rushed this time, although they didn't like, it wasn't, I don't think it was much shorter than any of the other ones, but it did feel, there was this like, element of oh this is a feels a little bit more rushed like when they were going through with the games usually they would introduce their partners who, what their name was and everything they didn't really do that this time um, but it was still a lot of fun don't get me wrong I loved it and again I had high touch because y'all I have high touch I had high touch pretty much all the shows but so again back to the notes so I know the order of everything um, so, okay, so the high touch order this time was Jin Young, Young Jay, J Bum, Jackson, Bam, Yujim, and then Mark. So, similar kind of order that it was for DC, but a little bit different. Um, so, I didn't really have things to say this time, so I went to Jin Young, kind of just, Young Jay. I get nothing out of Jin Young and Young Jay, ever, ever. So, I, I've just given up. Um, J Bum, he just, just his usual cute, fluffy smile. He's so fluffy, I don't know how anybody would, anybody, anybody could be like, oh my gosh, J-Bomb is like terrifying, which people have said so many times, but 
J Bomb is a fluffball. And the only thing terrifying about him is how fluffy and how cute he is, and if that's even legal. Um, so, okay, so after J Bomb is Jackson. So I get to Jackson, and of course, obviously, since I told him to, I'm going to So, Jackson. Do you remember me? <laughs> and there's just this silence. But the funny thing is, so he's right next to Bam. And Bam, I guess the person in front of me was already like gone. I don't know. But Bam turns to me and he's like, I do. And I'm like, what? what? Like totally like he even like stuck his hand over, like turned completely into Jackson, was just like, I do. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. Bam remembers me. <laughs> ah, I'm really, really happy. And this is continuing as to why I freaking love Bam. But so I get to um, after Bam, which I don't even remember properly because, like I said, I was doing Jackson's high touch when Bam turned to me. So like I don't even know if I touched Bam that time. I was just so so flustered <laughs> the, by the fact that he remembered me. Um, but so after Bam was it was yu gi and then Mark and I just just kind of smiles happy and yu gi is just a little precious child and Mark again I think Mark hates me <laughs> honestly I think Mark hates me but it's okay because I still love him <laughs> but um yeah they're just so wonderful so like j Mom and yu gi they're the smiley ones they always smile and they make me feel really welcome and I don't know if they remember me at all well I'll get to some of that in a moment with LA but yeah, they always smile extra big and I'm just like, oh, they make me feel so welcome. Whereas Mark, I'm just like, you hate me. It's okay, but I love you. Stop, stop judging me. Um, okay, so finally we have LA because I am trash. And so of course I flew out to LA with Yuki and it was awesome, but I feel really bad because when we flew out to LA, um, there was a guy that was like, me and Yuki ended up in the same row. Like we, I don't know how it happened because we bought our tickets completely separately, but we ended up in the same row, like next to it, like in the same like grouping, but there was a poor guy in the middle of us. And he's just like, do you want to switch? And we're like, no. <laughs> Cause I had the, I had the window and she had the aisle and we're just like, no, we want to sit where we're sitting. We're just gonna talk over you. But we didn't talk for that much, but um, <laughs> it was still kind of funny and I felt kind of bad for him. But um, I got some really pretty pictures. There were some pretty pictures when we were coming into, L into um, LA. Really but yeah, it was very, very chill. We had an awesome hotel in Houston where it was just like, uh, it was like the hotel was so big and next time I do a show in Houston, I don't care, I'm gonna go to that, that hotel because yes, <laughs> it was awesome. But, um, so after that, um, we kind of hung out in LA because I got in there Saturday. Um, I did go to the airport this time and I will put the video that I got here. It was a pretty good video, I think. I think it was. Out of the way! amongst all of the crazy because I was legit just like hi and I wasn't like rushing them or anything I just kind of just stayed in my spot and just kind of just filmed them I didn't move like they were kind of, they at points they got they were kind of close to me because they were going through the door and I was standing right by the door um but like I wasn't like hi I need to like reach out and touch them no I kept I kept my distance I respect the boys I just wanted to see them 
But yeah, and then later that night we went and got some boba and had some Korean barbecue. I hadn't had Korean barbecue in a while. So if any of you guys, if you guys are going to any of the shows in the future and you do see me and you want to go out and eat, please. I love going out and eat, but I can't go to Korean barbecue by myself. It's too expensive. So yeah, let me know. Um, and I didn't mention this, but there were a bunch of you guys from from pretty much all the stops that came up to me and said hi to me if you watch my videos. And I really appreciate that. And thank you. Thank you so much. I love you guys. You guys are wonderful. Um, and yeah. So let's get into the last bit. The last bit of this long, terribly long video. I'm so sorry. But there's just a lot to talk about. Um, so finally, it was the last show, LA, hometown, and for Mark at least, and everybody feels at home. It was just so wonderful. There was just a wonderful vibe to just being there. Um, the Pasadena Civic Auditorium is gorgeous and beautiful, and since it was seated, like, kind of just got to chill, didn't have to like rush. We were there for at noon to pick up the bracelets. Um, I was trying to put, get a photo op. I didn't manage to get a photo op, unfortunately. So I got no photo ops this time. Ugh. Next time I'm just gonna have to fork over like the 500 bucks and buy my photo op really early as soon as they're available because I need that to happen um, in the future. And you know, they're not gonna Yeah, so I I was really quite pleased, I should say. For the show, um, so when we got into the show, um, kind of got in, got to my seat. Um, Papa Twan and Papa Twan, they were like a section over from me, and it was kind of cool. But I was very concerned at one point because everybody like was just like, "Oh my God, they're so tall!" And they started like leaning over the balcony and screaming. And I'm just like, "Y'all chill, please, please relax." <laughs> but I was concerned more so about the people that were like literally leaning over the balcony and could have fallen. But eventually they stopped, thankfully. Um, the show was way more chill. Um, like in Miami, everybody stood the entire time. Even though I was in the seated section, everybody stood. But with this show, everybody actually was seated. It was really weird. Except for when they were actually performing songs, everybody stayed seated, which was so... I, I didn't expect it after Miami, so... But, I mean, it was interesting. Um, and the show was just so chill, and it was so great, and Elliot Yadman was there. Um, there was a connection for Young Jay that was just wonderful, and oh, I was so happy for him. Uh, I watched it unfold on Twitter and it was just wonderful and finally and him getting to see that and then actually sing the song in front of him it was just wonderful and now he's going to be working on a song with um, Elliot Yaman and Sanjay and I'm really really happy for him I'm really excited to see this song come out but oh, I'm so happy but it was just this chillness to the show um, it wasn't quite as hype as the other shows, but it was just really fun and welcoming, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, and then Mark got, went and like ruined my life because he's just like, yeah, maybe we'll be back for KCON. And I'm just like, no, I hate you. Why Why are you? Why KCON? Why KCON? That's going to kill my kill me. Um, but of course I will go and I will pay the however much money I need to pay for a high touch ticket because... Let's be real. I need my God Seven High Touch. Um, but yeah, so let's actually get on to LA's High Touch, which had a double whammy all up in this because y'all like you don't even you don't even. Um, so um, actually during the High Touch, it kind of got messed up at one point. They started doing it, but I guess people circled around and it got messed up. But um, Eventually, I do get up to them, and the order, I believe, some of it I'm not completely sure. The beginning is a little bit blurry for me, but, um, well, after Jackson, because Jackson was first, I know that for sure. So it was Jackson, Young Jay, J Bum, Yu Gi Oh, Mark, Bam, and then Jin Young. I believe that that was the order. It might be a little bit switched, a little bit. I know that Jackson was first, and I know that the end was Bam and then Jin Young but the rest of it might be a little bit topsy-turvy. For the most part, I just smiled. Jackson, I didn't even bother this time because I'm just like, okay, Jackson doesn't remember me. He just smiles. He just smiles. J-Bum just smiles. What shocked me was when I got to Yu-Gi-Oh, he was like, 
you. And I was just like, what? You, you recognize me? And he, cause he just like smiled all big and was just like, you. And he was just really cute. And I was like, oh, you, you, you remember, oh. <laughs> but that was then confirmed because not by Mark, because Mark still hates me. I, I will say that until I die, but Mark hates me. And I get to bam. And I get to bam. And he's just like, oh, it's you again. And I'm just like, ah! I literally wanted to scream, but I was just like, yeah, of course. And yeah, <laughs> y'all, Bam remembers me. Yes, it has happened. Bam remembers me. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. But um, Jin Young then ended it off and he was wonderful and gorgeous. And yeah, I was just, it was an amazing tour. And I guess I will do some Q and A's if you would like. Um, so if you have any questions for me on this, um, about anything about the tour, go ahead and leave them down below. I'll probably try to do a short video maybe next week. So yeah, get those questions in if you have any. You may not. You may just think I'm crazy for going to four stops. That's okay. But if you guys like this video, please make sure you like it. If you like some more reactions from me, make sure that you subscribe. I'm out. <laughs>